push your luck. That's a highly sophisticated piece of technology. You might even self-destruct, but get lost, idiot. Uncle, help me! He's got sex remote control! Sharon, no! Shit! Give me back my control. Hand it over, you little rat, or I trash it. No! You need my food! You didn't want it. Cough up or I launch it into hyperspace. Michael, help! I'm warning you, Faraday. Hand it over. Give it back. Or meltdown. You would dare. Do it. Push the button, zap it. No! All right. All right, we'll try. I tell you, there's no alternative. I'll decide that. Open your mind, George. Think of the consequences. I have. And I'm putting a stop to this right now. KL5 is not meant to fly. What? Access dinner. Access dinner. Come on, you hate the junk. Get out open, you weasel. Gotcha. I don't want to put a dampener on this master plan of yours. But KL5 has no means of propulsion. Yeah. I am responsible oh, for well, these people. What are you lot doing here? Explain yourself. They've come to help me. I want them out of here now. All of them. If we knew what you were looking for, somewhere. There's an old hydroponics lab. Gardening. I knew it. I hate gardening. This is all your fault, Faraday. Professor. Next time, just ask the genius. Shut up. Phew. Who died? Organic residues, isn't it wonderful? It's disgusting. What happened to the lights? Modern technology, truly amazing. It's perfect. <laughs> it's a wreck. Yuck, I'm not touching that. Whoa, the attack of the toxic slime. First come the spasms, then you turn green, and finally you go stark raving bonkers. Ow! What did you do that for? Because you're an idiot. Most of the equipment was taken to Io, but if we, if we fix the tanks, connect the atmospheric purifiers, get the algae to bloom... Move the sun a little to the left. We'll never get it working. It's impossible. Difficult may be not impossible. We have to replenish our air supplies. Right. So now we're going to suffocate. This will give us a couple of months' breathing space. A couple of months? But Duffy said it could take ten months before we're rescued. We can't wait that long. I know. Let's save ourselves. Let's fly KL-5 back to Earth. Ding! Correct. Give that boy a dinosaur. Oh, he's flipped. No. He's serious. Fly KL-5? What do we do for engines? We couple the space tug to KL-5 and shoo! Michael, you're in charge of hydroponics. Me? Him? What am I supposed to do? I'm not taking orders from him. Oh, he's deranged. We're at the mercy of a complete and utter maniac. You're not serious. I'm deadly serious, Michael. Are we locked in orbit? It's impossible. There's that word again. There are too many skeptics in this place. Michael, I can rely on you in the hydroponics lab, can't I? We need it. But it's a wreck. 
You've seen it. That's why I put you in charge. I don't want to be in charge. I wouldn't even know where to start. It's the same principle as the lab on Io. Yeah, but you don't even know if the system still works. Surprise me. You have four willing helpers. Look, Ronald, the beginning of civilization is you not. Yeah. Take a good look around, Ronald. This could be the end of civilization as we know it. So is he crazy or what? Where do we start, boss? Oh, um, Kumi, the rubbish. Would you dump it outside? Kingston, uh, you and Anna start with the tanks. Beauty, slime patrol. Jared, you're on plumbing. Don't push your luck, Faraday. You heard what he said. He left me in charge. Oh, yeah, was that before or after the bit about flying to Earth? Hey, it's a machine, not a lump of rock, you idiot. Hey, you want to give orders, then you do it. We're going to need new pipes. gonna help or what? Hey, yeah, keep your hair on. It's on. The meeting. They're deciding about Ingersoll's plan. And where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Correct. That's not fair. We have a right to know what's going on. Nothing. Can't hear a thing. What? Tell me I'm a genius. You're an idiot. Wrong. You lose. Next, please. OK, so you're a genius. Now what? I know a way in. Again. Kingston, you're fantastic. Hear that? Fantastic. You'll be dead if you don't keep moving. All right, all right. Well, it's just a bit of here in 10 months. 10 months? And what if the air purifiers fail? And what about food and fuel and heating? No. It's too much of a gamble. And herring across the solar system in a derelict space station? What do we call that? Stupidity, I'd say. Come on, you guys. You're not made of plexi. Shut up, will you? Great. There's seats in the house and I get stuck up the back. It's our only chance. We couple the space tug to KL-5. Then we locate the ore carrier. It's got fuel. This is insane. He's going to kill us all. To catch it, we'd have to increase speed. We use Jupiter's gravity. We patch the tug's ignition controls into the central computers here. There is one small snag. Oh, terrific. Then we add it to the giant list of impossibilities. Our only window of opportunity is in the next 48 hours. The question is, do we stay here and die, or do we go? May I we go. I am still Can't in say it. You go. I'm staying. I'm with him. Uh-oh. Now we're for it. You guys, where would you be without me? How'd it go, Mr Duffy? You shut up. So, do we get to go to Earth or what? Which part of the word don't you understand? Is it the shut or is it the up? Come here, idiot. It's like we're going. You're required in the control room with your computer. Great. 
sorry, Michael. Judy calls. Maybe she gets all the special treatment. Dad, what happened? Well, you better fasten your harness, son. Looks like we're going to make this thing fly. Faster, slaves, faster. Uh, right. No, no, left. Make up your mind, idiot. I said left. This whole place is going to disintegrate. That's what's going to happen. Oh, just think. When we get to Earth, we'll be hailed as heroes. Oh, dream on, bubblehead. One puny little space tug trying to push this dump across the solar system. You're all mental. Next year, eh? Oh, and I found this great beach. You'll love it. The light's flashing. Look, give your dad a kiss for me. Oh, guess what? I've got a dog. Uh, and it's been raped. Just sorting out some old stuff. How's it going? Getting there. How are you going? Dad. What if the professor's wrong? I mean... What if we need to get to see Mum again? Come on, mate, that's not like you. Of course we're gonna get to see Mum again. You just get the hydroponic lab working. Yeah, but what if I make a mistake? I, I mean, I feel like the whole station's depending on me. Well, I guess we are. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Look, the professor's got his worries. Helen's got the medical bay, and Carl and I are trying to link the tug up to KL5. Duffy's got his share of problems. Well, he's got problems. Look, you just do your best. You might surprise yourself, eh? You know, I'd give you a hand if I could. Yeah, I know. I couldn't sleep. Me neither. Be hostile down there. Yeah. What does rain feel like? I can't believe you've never been to Earth. Well, I haven't. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's just... I've never met anyone like you. Well, Mum and Dad, they've always worked for the company. I was born on IHO. I've been there ever since. So what's it like? Rain? Well, I guess it's like being in the shower, only you're outside. I don't know. I've never even seen a real tree or a beach. Next year, they said. Look on the bright side. Could be sooner than you think. Yeah. But then, maybe Jared's right. Maybe the space tug won't be enough. Right way to conserve air. Poison half the crew. Kingston, Anna, the docking bay, quick. What for? What about breakfast? Forget it, hurry. The other way, turn it the other way. Do you want to do it? They're about to couple a tug to the station. See, that's where I should be, in the thick of things, not waiting around here up to my neck in algae. Uh, hurry up or you'll miss it. That's it, I'm out of here. Jared, no, I need you here. No chance, jungle boy. Are you coming? Kumi, I can't do this by myself. Where's Michael? Didn't you tell him? He's sulking. Give him a break, will you? In a couple of weeks, he'll be thanking him. I want to be. 
me when I grow older. A space tug pilot. You! If this doesn't work, Junius, you won't even see your next birthday. Jared, you have to be such a pain. Hey, Jared. Come on. Let's see what the intelligent people are doing. So, can we get on with it? We could do with some help. Sorry, Michael. They want me back in the control room. I think I'll get myself a computer. Jared, you're gonna split it. Look, I'm helping, aren't I? Jared, Carl wants you in the docking room on the double. It's something about the tug's thrusters. What? Why him? Oh, I'm racked with disappointment. Just when I was getting attached to all this alg. Gotta see a girl about a dinosaur. Just think, the first people in the universe to fly a space station. Probably enjoy being famous. Yep, and famous people always get good seats. Can we go launch window? How long, please? 35 minutes. This is Kingston to launch control. This is launch control, over. Thrusters armed and ready, over. Sam, wait a minute. We've lost the main thrusters. We have no alternative. We have to postpone. Uh-oh. I guess we won't be going after all. It's not the computer's ignition control checks out the full test of in the tug. We've checked it out, Professor. It could be anywhere. Sam, if we don't have those thrusters, we won't have the power to pull out of gravity. Great. So now we spend the rest of our lives on Jupiter. Well, if it's here, we'll find it. Professor, you were right. We found the problem. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Can you fix it in time? How can we fix it? He keeps pestering us. Just keep your mind on the job. Sam? You'll have it. Lock in the sequence. You heard it. Lock it in. Ignition sequence on my mark. Kumiko? Standing by. OK, old thing. Step out of line and I'll grind you to dust. Three, two, one. And mark. Listen, sequence locked in. Solar sails and commence orientation. You'd better know what you're doing. Not now, George. Mr. Tatsu, you will need readouts on escape velocity. Sails retracting. Adjusting angle of KL5 to Jupiter. Auxiliary thruster, one second. Still nothing. Sam, we're still missing those thrusters. Four minutes. Four minutes to launch window. What if he doesn't fix it? Jared's with him. Of course they will. That's got to be it. Now, Professor, it's all yours. Test the thing from in there. Still nothing. Something else. It has to be the computers. We'll have to abort. Sorry, Sam, it's not responding. Professor, we'll fire from here. One minute, Sam. Jared, give me a hand. We can't risk this. Stop this madness. Jared, how much trust this woman? Count me in, Professor. I will not be responsible. George, will you get off the air? 30 seconds. On your toes, everyone. We don't want any more surprises. 24, 23, 22, 20, 20 19, 18, Carl! Dad, get out of there!
important to get. Acceleration. 50% escape velocity. Gee, I wanted to be in the thick of it. Not up to my neck in it. Acceleration 90%. Escape velocity. Relic. You cook the thrusters. You blow the tug to smithereens. Fix the purifiers, he said. Right. So all of a sudden I'm an engineer. What? 95. 95. And holding. Maybe we should get out of here. The hydroponics lab, maybe. Sit tight. She's not going to take much more of this. OK, you bucket of bolts, this is your last chance. 95. 98. Escape. Frosty. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, we're still in one piece. Well done. Everybody. George, we're going home. We're on our way. We're going to Earth. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, you heap of junk. Okay.